to the roots. Back in the days when, when people didn't have any platforms or anything, they would just climb a rock and then jump off. And all of our guys know how to do this and that's probably what they've done in the beginning. It's a pure sport diving from the rock and it's really something that we need to get back in touch with. I mean, this is perhaps the most ancient extreme sport, you know, jumping from a cliff into the water. Think about it. I mean, people must have been doing this for, you know, thousands of years before we're doing it. We're labeled as cliff divers and that's something actually we're all very proud of. Um, if you look at the history of the sport, um, that's definitely how it started directly from the cliff face and what happened is the evolution of the sport has really pushed us to where we're standing on a platform that's built on a cliff and that's really so we could do the more technical and difficult dives. When you're standing on a rock, every time it's not going to be level. Sometimes you're going to be off balance, you're going to be standing at an angle. You know, you might be facing to one side and you have to jump to the other because that's the deep part. So you have to make all these little things work with you. The difference between off the cliff and off the platform is that when you're diving from the cliff, there is no platform. So to make your feet comfortable on the rock is not all that easy. And generally speaking, you, you have to jump out further. And what that does is that means that you can't do as many rotations. So the further you lean forward, the less rotations you can do. So that's why we have a platform so they can jump up and get nice and close to the platform. And that allows you to do four somersaults, even five somersaults are possible. But from the cliff, no way. Off the cliff, you have to make it so you reach the distance to the cliff. And uh, so from a technical perspective, it's not going to be as perfect. So the judges, for example, should not be judging the takeoff on, on, on an off the cliff competition as much as they should from a platform. The divers and the cliff divers definitely deserve the term cliff diving, even if they're diving from a platform because it is risky and they're incredibly brave men, you know. This takes a special kind of human being to, to do these kind of dives and these maneuvers. Not everybody can do this. This is this takes a lot of courage. So like I take my hats off to these guys. A lot of times it feels better to almost earn it. So if you have to climb the cliff yourself and then jump, you know, you have that really good feeling inside. You can just become one with the environment and really let yourself go and kind of be in the moment and just and just do your cliff diving, which is what you love to do. My name is David Colturi and I'm a cliff diver. My name is Stephen Labou and I'm a cliff diver. My name is Orlando Duque and I'm a cliff diver.